Hello and uh, welcome to lesson number four. Uh, go ahead open up this drawing. The link uh, for this file is down below the description. Uh, download that and then uh, open up this file. In this lecture we're going to talk about what is a break line. Before I continue let me uh, bring up my PowerPoint here. So break line in civil 3D we like to show line. For example look at this picture or look at this one above. That's the cross section of the uh, roadway. This edge of pavement right here that's a line right there. So we're going to show this as a break line on uh, civil 3D. And there's another break line right here where the slopes changes goes into the 4 to 1. And then the next break line is down there, the flow line of the uh, toe, of, toe of the slope or flow line of the uh, ditch. And if up here, looking at it, that'd be a break line right here. There's one break line right there. There's another one right there. So that's what the break line basically is. Um, and there are um, four different types of break line. Standard, proximity, wall, and non-destructive. And you can read all this stuff on my PowerPoint here yourself. Uh, so let's go ahead, go back to the uh, drawing. This, we have this break line here. This break line right here probably represents maybe a uh, top of a, a dirt pile, you know, is a mountain of dirt on a side, and this may be the ridge of it or be something else. I don't know what it is, but this is the one of the break line. But the problem with the break line is the break line, going back to the PowerPoint one more time, let me explain this again. It says break line are data that can improve a surface. They provide more information to, to the surface and influence how it is triangulated. I need a break line for the f surface to create triangular connecting vertices on a break line. So in this here, our break line is not connected to, uh, let me just go ahead and click on, a, open up your, your drawing tool here. So zoom in and click on one of these uh, uh, contour line so once you have done this, your uh, ribbon changes. From the ribbon up here, you see it says surface property. Click on surface property. And then hit surface property again, right there. In this window, go on to the information. From the information, we're going to come down here where it says surface uh, style type. Hit that drop down menu. And it should be right, no, uh, yeah, right here, uh, contours and triangle. Click on that and click OK, apply OK. So we did talk about the triangular surface before, remember 10? So now everything is triangle, but our break line is not connected to anything. So we got to go ahead and make it part of this surface. And that's what we're trying to do. So it be tied into the elevation. Okay, so come up here, go to a uh, view tab, click on view tab right there, and go to a uh, name view right here, click on drop down menu, and come down here, find surface break line. That will zoom, uh, zoom in, zoom, basically zoom our break line into the, uh, um, our surface right here so we can see it even better. Now go back to the tool space right here and from Prospector, make sure you're on the Prospector tab. See this, uh, uh, you see the surface, there's a plus sign next to it, expand that. Okay. And then this was the existing topo, so go ahead, expand the existing topo. Okay. Then you're going to come into definition, expand that also. And then now down here you come into to it where you see break line. Click on break line once and then right click on it and hit add. You come up here, you put a description what is that break line is. Let's say it's a top of a uh, dirt so we call it ridge. Or depend on your uh, um, project when you're working on it, it could be anything. And click OK.
notice when we clicked OK, now we're in a command mode. See, tip of my uh, cursor right here has a square on it that says select object. So we've got to select the object. If you come over the break line, if you hover over the break line, see highlights up? Right there, highlights up. So go ahead, highlights up, click it, and hit enter. And now the break line, it became part of the triangle, and the end of the break line is connected to a uh, point of the uh, triangle, so it has a elevation to it. Now the surface has been rebuilt basically with that break line into it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use a, a surface edit, and we're going to use a delete lines. Um, again, with the drawing right here, um, selecting the uh, topo, and that way our ribbon changes up here. And uh, from up here, uh, yeah, let's go back and click. Uh, from here, we're going to click uh, Surface Property. And then Information tab right here. We're going to go ahead and uh, use the um, uh, Contour and Triangles. Click OK. There we are. Now we're going to go ahead and go on a, a View tab from the ribbon. And from the drop-down menu of the uh, uh, name views, we're going to select uh, Surface Edit right here. OK, now we're going to go ahead and select one of these triangles. OK, come back up here. We're going to go ahead and uh, use this um, Edit Surface. Expand this. And you can see all the command light right here. It's interesting. And you can practice on your own. You can smooth the surfaces. You can all kind of stuff. You won't get in trouble. So let's use a delete line right here. And when you do that, you're in command right here. And it's asking you um, select uh, edges or objects. So we want to see this is this red line is a boundary. I want to clean up. So it get rid of some of this stuff here. You can select them. I'm going to select this line here. Select that one. See if you can get it, get into it. Select that. Select that. Select that. Select that. So some of the triangle if you want. And hit enter. Well, I didn't select these other stuff, did I? Okay, since we didn't do a good job clean up, we can use another method, and that is uh, using a boundary. So we're going to add a boundary here. Uh, go to uh, View tab right here, and from View tab, from a Name pan, Name View panel, click on a drop-down menu. And there you can see uh, Survey Main. Click on that. And now in your model right here, click on one of these triangles. And now we're going to come back in here. Up here where it says Add Data, click on that. And there's a boundary, select the boundary. So now this new window opens up. You can name your boundary. That's the outside limit. And it's a type. It's outer. You can see right here. So let's just give it as outer. And uh, click OK. So now when you click OK, it tells you um, right here, select the subject. Select the object. And uh, you want to go ahead and uh, use this red line that we have for outer limit that we selected. It's basically a polyline. If we select that, see if you hover your mouse over its highlights right there. I'm going to select that. And then, uh, and you can see that uh, it cleaned it up right here, and that's what we have. Remember, this is uh, basically a polyline. If you go ahead and click on this, you can move this line also. Okay, so now we look at the, our uh, um, surface, see which way the slopes are, and we can 
uh, basically use a color code. Um, go to uh, view tab and from view tab right here from a name view uh, click on uh, right here um, survey main then come back to your uh, uh, drawing click on the panel anywhere inside the drawing that way your ribbon change up here and then go to edit surface and no I lied go to uh, surface property uh, from surface property, click surface property again, then you have this table. And we've been here before. This time go to analyze tab. And from analyze tab, right here, it says elevation, change that to a slope. Then come back down here, there's eight various, make, let's make it four. You can keep it at eight, depend on your project and how you want it. But let's go with four, make it easier for now. So I'm going to make it click four, four. One at once is four. Come back here. See this right here? Run that and run analysis. I give you this color code. Let's come back down here. Start from the highest one, four. And here it says 13 to 70. Let's change that 13. Click on it. Click on it one more time and make it 30%. And then uh, click, uh, just click away. Now when you come up here, you got to make sure you go by in a, in a, a property a proper range otherwise it will not let you so if this is a 30 minimum I want to make up here a maximum to 30 on number 3 so I'm going to click click on it one more time and make it 30 and then I'm going to come over here next one I'm going to make that 20 so that's 20 to 30 now take a look what I have I have 30 to 70 20 to 30 but if I want to I want to make the next one uh, 15 to 20 if I make right here 15 it will not let me because I didn't follow that what, I, what I just told you. You have to go in a proper uh, steps. So I said, let's say make it 15, hit enter, and it will tell you, no, you got to go ahead and... So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back here. My max here should be my minimum over there. If this is 20%, I'm going to make that 20%. 20, enter, and then come back here, make this one to 15%. All right. Similarly, I'm come up here and I'm going to make that to a 15 and leave it as zero on the other side. Okay, I don't like the color code. So let's change the color. Let's click on the color number four. Double click on the color. And you have a window opens up. Let me bring it over right here. And you can change the color. Uh, let's go ahead with, uh, uh, let's say pure red is fine. And click OK. Then let's change the second one, third one I mean. And make this to a color, uh, make it green. And click OK. You can change any color you want. The next one I'm going to make it uh, blue. OK. And then the final the next one I'm going to make it uh, to uh, yellow. Yellow is good. OK. Click OK. And I'm going to click Apply. And click OK. Well, nothing happened. Why? Well, because the style is set to a 10. Let's change the style. How did we do that, remember? So we're going to come back up here. Let's change the style. Edit surface. And information right here. You come down here with the surface style. Let's change that to a, there should be something called slope. Let's see if I can find it. Right here, bottom one. And click apply, click OK. So this kind of give you what is your slope range is. I forgot the number already, so I don't know what the slope range was. Let's go find or make a table here so we can see what the slope range was. Uh, yeah, I think it was 30%. I don't know. Let's come back in here anyway. Right here it says add legend. Click add legend. And now, uh, what happened to my table? Okay, right here, and click slope, and click dynamic, and then find a place you want. I'm going to put it right here next to it, and there's my table. Of course, I don't know. see if I can make this table bigger. And yellow was uh, from 0 to 15%. So when you look at here, you can see 
most of the slope of the area is 0 to 15 percent one good thing about here is if you go ahead and make a change because you're designing this surface and you make a change in your grading your this is a dynamic table and this table will also modify as you make a change over here 